Good day everyone, this is Engineer EMV and welcome to my channel. Before we proceed, hit the like button and subscribe for more civil engineering topics and practice problems in my channel. Welcome back to another practice problem solving involving singly reinforced beam. Previously, we are done with the singly reinforced beam analysis and investigation. So now let us proceed in the design of singly reinforced beams. So I've already summarized up our given, and the ultimate moment given is 600 kilonewton meter, which will be our basis in our design. The reduction factor is also given, and it is equal to 0.90 for flexure. Remember that when we are designing our beams, we need to put it under tension control section. That is why we always use 0.90 as the reduction factor. Remember that when a beam is under tension control section, it is letting the steel yields first than concrete because it is safer. In that case, there will be a ductile failure when events happen such as earthquake and collapse. So the failure will not be abrupt. So the occupants will be able to observe the surrounding very clearly and they can evacuate immediately the area. So the first question is to find the balance reinforcement ratio or row balance. Next is to find the theoretical reinforcement ratio or the required reinforcement ratio. Third is to find the AS required or the area of the steel required. Fourth is to find the number of 28 millimeters diameter needed in the design. And lastly, we need to find the maximum number of bars for singly reinforced beam using 28 millimeter diameter. Solving for our first unknown, we need to solve for the value of raw balance. We can use the formula 0.85 beta 1 multiplied by FC prime over FY multiplied by 600 divided by 600 plus FY all multiplied by DT over D. Input our values 0.85. The value of our beta 1 is obviously 0.85 since our compressive strength of the concrete is 28 megapascal multiplied by FC prime 28 over FY 415 multiplied by 600 divided by 600 plus 415 multiplied by the ratio DT over D equal to 1 since we only have a single layer reinforcement so it is equal to 1. So solving for the raw balance we can get a value of we can get a value of 0 0.0288 and that is the answer for our first question. So let's proceed to the second question which we need to solve for the required reinforcement ratio. So this will be the most vital part in the design process. First, we need to solve for the coefficient of resisting moment or what we call Rn. And remember that this will be a step-by-step -step process. So Rn is equal to mu over phi b d squared. So that will be our formula 1. So by substituting our values, mu is equal to 600 kilonewton meter. So multiply it by 10 raised to 6 to make it a newton millimeter unit. And our phi, 0.90, the base of the beam is equal to 300 our effective depth is 618 squared so the value of our rn or our coefficient of resisting moment is equal to 5.81849 so let us store it in our calculator in any variable so that there will be no discrepancy in our calculation so after solving for the coefficient of resisting moment, we can now proceed in solving for the required reinforcement ratio. The formula will be 0.85 Fc prime over Fy, all multiplied by 1 minus square root of 1 minus 2Rn all over 0.85 Fc prime. So don't forget this formula since this will be the most efficient way in solving by using the required calculator by PRC. So let's input our values. So our required reinforcement ratio is equal to 0 
So that is our answer for the second question. For our third question, we need to find the value of our required reinforcement steel area. But before that, we need to check our required reinforcement ratio from our limits, which is the raw minimum, and our raw maximum. Our raw required should not be less than the minimum and also should not be greater than the maximum. So based from NSCP 2010 and also similar to the NSCP 2015, let us set this as Romin 1 is equal to 0.25 square root of FC prime over FY should not be less than or we can say that it should be greater than the raw minimum 2 which is equal to 1.4 over FY. So for the maximum reinforcement ratio for singly reinforced beam under tension controlled, uh, this will be a modified equation in which it can be solved by using 3 eighths of 0.85 beta 1 FC prime over FY multiplied by DT over D. So we can solve our limits with these three formulas and compare it to our required reinforcement ratio. So solving for our first minimum reinforcement ratio, it is equal to 0.003188. Now let us compare it to the raw minimum 2 which is 1.4 over FY. It is equal to 0.003373 so we can conclude that the raw minimum one is less than the raw minimum two which is not allowed by the code so we can conclude that the raw minimum one is less than the raw minimum two so for our governing raw minimum our value will be 0 0.003373 and this will be our lower bound limit for our reinforcement ratio Moving on, we need to solve the value of our maximum reinforcement ratio for tension controlled singly beam. So earlier, we can use the formula 3 eighths of 0.85 beta 1 FC prime over FY multiplied by DT over D. So our beta 1 will be 0.85 since our compressive strength is equal to 28. So in putting our values, 3.8 multiplied by 0.85, multiplied by 0.85, and multiplied by 28 over 4.15 is equal to 1 since it is only single layer. So the ratio of dt over d is equal to 1. So our maximum reinforcement ratio is equal to 0.0183. So let us now compare our values. So our raw required is obviously greater than our raw minimum, which is okay. Next, our raw required is less than our raw maximum, which is also okay. It means that it is within the boundaries. So the value of our required reinforcement ratio is good for singly reinforced beam design. Remember that when the required reinforcement ratio is less than the minimum, we need to use the minimum for our design. And also, if it exceeded the maximum reinforcement ratio, automatically we are going to use the maximum reinforcement ratio in the design for singly reinforced beams. So to solve for required AS, we can use the formula of the reinforcement ratio, which is rho is equal to AS, over BD and by transposition our AS will be equal to rho multiplied by the base of the beam multiplied by the effective depth. So we are now going to use our rho required since it is within the boundaries multiplied by the base 300 and the effective depth which is equal to 618 millimeters. So we can get a value for the area required. It is equal to 3031.29 square millimeters. And that is the answer for the third question. So for the fourth question in this problem, we need to find the number of 28 millimeter diameter reinforcing steel bars needed for the design. To solve the number of bars needed, we can simply use the formula, the total area required divided by the area of a single bar. So our total area is equal to 3031.29 square millimeters divided by the area of a single bar, which is pi over 4 multiplied by the diameter 28 squared. So solving for the number of pieces, we can get a value of 4.92. Automatically, we are going to round it up so the answer will be 5 pieces. And that is the answer for the fourth question. For the last question in this problem, we need to find the maximum number of 28mm diameter bars in the beam. So obviously, 
it is about maximum so we can use our maximum reinforcement ratio for singly reinforced beam at tension controlled which is equal to 0.01828 and similar in solving for the number of bars we can use the formula AS max is equal to raw BD so input our values our raw max is equal to 0.01828 multiplied by the base 300 and the effective depth 618 millimeters. So the maximum area of steel needed is 3,389.112. Now let us solve again for the number of bars needed. Simply divide the AS max to the area of a single bar. So the number of pieces is equal to 5.5 and by rounding up, we can get a value of 6 pieces and that is the maximum number of 28 millimeter diameter bars that can be used in the beam for singly reinforced beam at tension control. And that is the answer for the fifth and final question in this problem. That's all for this video. I hope you've learned something and if you have questions, inquiries, and topics in mind, just comment it down below and let's see what will be our next topic in our next videos. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more civil engineering topics and practice problems by Engineer EMV.